well this is part two of New Age Bible translations and I've made a video before about this uh, this is where we can get the flyers this is where well that's my old website that's been taken down but I believe it's a chap called um, what's his name Cummings I think or Coombs, there we go, Rex L. C Cobb, or yeah, Cobb, there we go. So Mandela Effect, guys, they've just changed his name to something else. Um, anyhow, more about that later on in this video, but um, you can look down, take a few of these quiz questions if you've got an NIV, and see if you can answer any of these questions. Um, if you want to improve your score, then use a King James Bible. Hallelujah. This is nothing against people with blue hair, by the way. I think blue is a nice colour. Um, this is this is quite funny, I would say. This was on my website. And this is for all of us morons out there. They think that we're so stupid. But, you know, accidents do happen. On a Sears hair dryer, do not use while sleeping. <laughs> on a bag of Fritos you could be a winner no purchase necessary details inside on a bar of dial soap directions use like regular soap <laughs> on some Swanson frozen dinners serving suggestions defrost <clears throat> on Tesco's tiramisu tiramisu dessert printed on the bottom do not turn upside down <laughs> and w what about some nice uh, um, beef Tesco's which was found out to be horse meat <laughs> a few years ago on Marks and Spencer bread pudding product will not be hot sorry product will be hot after heating correct myself on packaging for Rowenta iron do not iron clothes on body <laughs> on boots children's cough medicine do not drive a car or operate machinery after taking this medication yeah on a Japanese food processor do not not to be used for other uses <laughs> he's a little twisted minded Japanese they need the gospel on Sainsbury's peanuts warning contains nuts on an American Airlines packet of nuts instructions open packet eat nuts that's probably the most classic one I've came across on a child superman costume wearing this garment does not enable you to fly just like, you know, going to church doesn't make you a Christian. You know, going to McDonald's doesn't make you a Happy Meal. On a Swedish chainsaw, do not attempt to stop chain with your hands or perhaps your genitals, of course. Yeah. All right. That's quite sad. I mean, the I just noticed that the, the dog looks as if it's being strung up there. What a pity. Anyhow, the next part of this is to do with um, what we have is the elements and what we have is a fallen angel over one of these elements and it does tie into the fivefold ministry. Um, this was sort of revealed to me a number of years ago um, and it's pretty cool because you know the evangelist, the prophet, the bible teacher are all fighting against one of these principalities of Satan and when Jesus went out to the desert fasting remember he was tempted three times and he was already water baptized and spirit baptized you see but he had to come up against uh, these these guys okay to regain full control of the elements which Satan has corrupted and pretty much he's, he's referred to as the God of this world this is why because our spiritual lives are under attack, the air is under attack, the earth, you know, through the chemtrails, um, fire, um, obviously weapons of mass destruction, other other types of things like lust, you know, water, um, water's being polluted, the North, North Pacific Ocean is dying because of Fukushima, and so on. Um, these are principalities which Satan um, is indeed fighting against uh, these elements but when we're born again 
we, we regain control as, as Adam was the god of this world when he was created um, made in God's image and they, they were left to be stewards of this earth or in other words gods of this earth even God uh, says to Moses I'll make you like a god not god but like a god in other words the, the, you know everything that he said to the Israelites were, was God's word you know and uh, he, he was it was followed by signs and wonders just like there are some Christian um, ministries out there like that but a lot of them are to do with false signs and wonders false um, gospels you see so this is how we must have discernment and this is one of the signs that um, the Raelians uh, used to use this symbol but they had to change it and use this to get permission to build a temple in Israel which they already are and so I think that this group is very much to do and um, could be uh, very much to do with uh, the false prophet um, associated with the Antichrist, the uh, New Age movement and so on and so on. Um, you can read through this. Um, this is about Lucifer's five point rebellion against God and I believe it's in uh, Isaiah 14. There it is here. It speaks about it in Ezekiel 28. Um, and so again this is a swapping or an inverting as my brother just said I just read your comment there brother and it is an inverting of God's word because Jesus Christ is the bright morning star according to this but in the New Age Bible translations Lucifer is a bright morning star you see so it's swapping blatantly swapping Jesus identity for Lucifer's and this is the Luciferic one world religion that's going to look very much like um, maybe more what God wants but it's going to be headed by this uh, you know fallen angel a um, little history about Zondervan you can check that out um, you know they produced the satanic bible and other very very perverted books and they produced the NIV yeah this is some people who've did books on uh, well, I guess Mike Hoggard, I've done some exposure videos about him. I don't believe he's born again. Gail Ripplinger, she does a very good job of exposing um, the New Age Bible translations and the legend Kent, who is Kent Hovind. Um, <clears throat> just just a wonderful man of God. Really good videos by him exposing the New Age, uh, New Age Bible perversions. Um, so again you can check out if you've never heard of the railings uh, they're to do with the cloning so there's a lot about celebrities being cloned and presidents and rulers and queens and so on being cloned and this group um, have had this technology for it seems for a long time they worship fallen angels um, some more celebrities mentioned there which embrace teachings from Aleister Crowley Oprah Winfrey and so on. Uh, the Beatles are is, is another one. Um, this is the guy who founded the movement, the Raelians, but uh, mostly French Canadian or French speaking. I think he's from France, or I'm not sure if he's from Canada, but he's he definitely speaks French. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are pictures that I've taken, I've seen in restaurants. Uh, this one was from East Africa. And uh, so let's just finish. And it says, creating a new tolerant one world religion which excludes people who believe in Jesus Christ isn't tolerant, but biased against God and his only begotten son. We have had many Christians in the Middle East who have been under attack, mostly not by the peace loving Muslims around them, but by a Western empire which is fulfilling Daniel 11. It would seem any outside influence into world affairs would be welcome as Ronald Reagan in his 1988 ET speech in the UN. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide vanish if we are facing an alien threat from outside this world. So for any of you who don't know what I'm talking about um, here, it's really the West who are financing ISIS and a lot of these um, very, very um, militant Islamic groups which are causing a lot of um, chaos in the Middle East 
you know, they're being financed by such as the Rothschilds and so on. Um, Obama actually uh, financed a lot in the past his eight, eight years in office. He actually financed many militant Islamic groups in the Middle East. Okay, you can check that out. Um, hallelujah, you want to download the flyer, here it is. You know, I just had a thought um, about the Mandela effect. Uh, if these D-Wave computers are able to cut across time and dimensions, then this could be like your local town and you know one day things are like this and then the next day you wake up and you know this is over here and this is over here and so you get out your house and you sort of have a quick look and you think ah, I'm sure that van was over here and this was over here and then of course, we know the one about the hotel popping up out of nowhere. <laughs> so this this would be like waste ground. Everybody's just passing there. Everybody knows there's nothing there, and then all of a sudden, bang! There you go. It's a hotel in California there. I mean, that's what it's all about, Hotel California. I'm sure it was in that California. It may have subliminal meanings. A lot of these Mandela effects. Anyway, that's the caravan of love. Uh, there's the little barbecue there. There you go. Um, so yeah, what do you think? What do you think? Could be. What these D wave computers are doing. Just changing little things around. You know? Very easily done. 